I can't think of anyone in the Republican Party who's dumb enough to think they could beat President Trump in a, in a primary. He's incredibly popular within the Republican Party, and all of his would-be competitors know that. They're not going to try. Whereas Bill Weld, Bill Weld, you know, you know Greg Gutfeld? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, he thought Bill Weld was going to beat Trump in, in 2016. No, uh, no, no. Bill Weld isn't even pro-life. Stick to the comedy, Greg. We'll yeah. handle the politics. <laughs> Bill Weld isn't even pro-life. How can you expect to win a Republican primary without being pro-life? Who, it's else? Just, it's who, just who else is, who, who else is bubbling up? Within uh, the Republican what, what Party? I, don't, I have to ask you, what happened to Elizabeth Warren? <laughs> Wasn't she going to be the, 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 the first... Female president. She, she was, was yeah. Done. I think I think her prospects were great until she decided to get a DNA test of herself. You know that I think that just killed her campaign before it even started. So, so it wasn't even that she um, claimed to be part Cherokee. Uh huh. That says she actually went so far as to do a DNA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trump got so far in her head that yeah, she just yeah. decided to take a test. That's what he does. So he he lives rent free in a lot of these people's heads. Yes, absolutely. What do you think of Bernie Sanders going on Fox News? Uh, I think it's the right decision for him because he, he obviously needs to appear as moderate as possible because his policies are so um, radical. Whereas um, his, so his policies are radical, but for some reason people have this opinion of him as a, a, a champion of the working class, a guy of the working class. Um, but also he's like a millionaire with several homes and that sort of thing. And so he, he needs to sort of be the guy who's like, look, I'm going to reach Trump, out to the Trump other side. Trump something very interesting after that Fox interview. He had tweeted that Bernie Sanders made something like $600,000 last year. And mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders is so much against paying lower taxes. He's feel, feel free to pay the higher tax rate on the income that he earned. Mm -hmm. and it's really, a, it's a good point. Let me ask you some, uh, this, this uh, mayor from uh, South Bend, Indiana, is that where he's from? Yep. Yeah, Buttigieg. But, Buttigieg, yeah. Buttigieg. He is really bubbling up on the left. They he love is. him. Yeah. What's his, what's his gift? What's his thing? Well, what's I think he's... As they say, what's his jam? Yeah, he's really <laughs> articulate, and uh, that always helps as a politician. Uh, he's just got a great sense of what people want to hear. Um, he's also uh, gay, which is helpful if you're running um, in a Democratic primary, because a lot of the people involved in identity politics are saying, like, oh, he's sure, he's a white male, but also he's gay, so that, like, mediates, uh, mediates the sort of competing things there. I'll tell you what um, happened, though. Listen, I, you know, I'm libertarian, so I don't, I don't care who you marry. Just had to, could care less. He, uh, he was in Iowa, mm -hmm. and he gave speeches on two of his speeches. He had three hecklers really give him a hard time about being out of the closet gay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Even if he is, or especially if he is the Democrat nominee, he's going to experience that throughout the campaign in the general election. Oh, absolutely. And I think every time someone heckles him in that way would, would help him. You know, like yeah, that's a good because point. because it's just, a general. Yeah, we're I, it, as a country, we're essentially past that issue now. We can't. It's it's you can't really dredge it up and re relitigate it. So 